It's Anime USA. Washington DC is an anime convention that takes place in the fall. Displays Japanese anime inspired costumes to teach about anime and cosplay culture. I wonder you are not coming to the stage. Oh, you're so beautiful. And I, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy so many gorgeous, wonderful costumes here. Are you guys ready? All right, then please welcome Anime USA. Oh my god, this crowd is huge. Yeah, really, really good turnout this year. Oh gosh, are you guys ready to see some cosplay? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know what cosplay is, it's a, an amalgamation of the word costume and play. At a lot of anime conventions where, you know, it's Japanese festivals, people will dress up as their favorite characters and come out, take photos, have fun, play around with their characters, and it's really quite a good time. So. We're from Anime USA, which is Washington, D.C.'s very own anime convention. It is in November this year. It's the first weekend of November. It's right over immediately off the Adams Morgan metro stop on the red line. Really easy to get to. If you guys want to come and uh, hear more about us, we're over... But, uh, it's the, under the Japan Wow fire. Japan... The Japan Wow? I'm try, I don't know if they can hear me. But it's fine. So that's where the Anime USA table is. If you want more information, please feel free to go over there. But first, you want to see some cosplay. I don't think they want to see cosplay. No, that wasn't very good. Do you really want to see some cosplay? Ah! All right, so first we're going to bring on stage our judges. So today we're actually going to be putting on both a fashion show and a little competition for you. Our judges have taken a look at all of our competitors, but they're also relying on you guys to tell the judges who your favorite uh, characters are. First prize for this competition is a silver membership to Anime USA and a $100 Art of Weeks gift certificate. That goes a long way. So, without further ado, let's introduce our judges. Alrighty, so on my left, first starting, we have my lovely wife, Lee Targaryen. She started costuming in 2006. She won a couple Best in Novice Awards, then Best in Show in the Historical Competition at CostumeCon 2008, bringing her into the advanced level fairly quickly. She teamed up with me <laughs> shortly thereafter, and we've been an inseparable pair ever since. Together, we've won many awards, including the grand prize trip to Hawaii from AUSA in 2012. Uh, we've moved our way from competing to now we do judging and hosting. So as we get older, we start passing on to the community. Today, Lee is wearing a, a traditional Japanese yukata. If you can see, her obi has cats on it. I really like kitty cats. <laughs> In the middle, we have Vicious. Vicious is a cosplay potato. I can attest to this. She's been making costumes and competing for over 10 years and has worn over 50 costumes. Her specialties include wig styling, garment construction, and sobbing over fabric. She loves getting to see new cosplayers take up costume creation and watch them go through the competition circuit. Vicious currently runs the Otakon Cosplay Masquerade. Today she's wearing an Oddish cosplay from Pokemon. This is a Yujinka design by the artist Kaslin, which is a human version of a non-human character. And last but not least, we have Fire Lily. Fire Lily is a veteran craftsman who has been cosplaying since 2004. She has made over 120 costumes to date and won numerous Best in Show and Best Overall awards for her quality and attention to detail, 
and her craftsmanship. Fire Lily has a, been a cosplay judge, panelist, and guest at Otacon, Anime USA, Anime Mid Atlantic, Teco, T Mode, and has served as head judge for a costume Katakon's Masquerade since 2010. That's a list. <laughs> When she isn't making costumes, she loves playing video games, reading, and binge-watching her favorite shows. She is well known for historical accuracy in her costumes, so today she is wearing Lily from the movie Legend. If you guys don't remember that movie, it was before Tom Cruise had good teeth. Alright, so we're going to send our judges off and they're going to join you in the audience so they, they can see our competitors come on stage and listen to your cheering to help determine who's the winner of our fashion show. Alright, we're going to bring our first contestant up on stage. I don't know if you can hear me. Alright, so first up, we have America's Greatest Otaku, Chris Wanamaker, as the Red Power Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers aired in America and was based on the Japanese shows in the Zentai Zyu Ranger series. The Red Ranger is the team leader in the show and leads the team in their battles against space baddies. this year, so it's going to be a moment. Alright, next up we have Maddie's Masquerades as Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! Seto Kaiba is the top monster dueler and CEO of gaming company. He and the main character Yugi partake in monster duels using a carefully composed monster deck and the special dual disc accessory. Next up, we have one Jenny fan as female Joker from Persona 5. Persona 5 follows Joker as he and friends explore a supernatural realm populated by people's subconscious desires in a metaphysical form. One Jenny fan's costume today is based on what Joker might wear if he was a female character. on stage next is Becky Taka as Chica from Love Live Sunshine. Chica is the leader and founder of Aquors, a high school idol group inspired by M's and the way a normal girl becomes radiant when she's an idol. All right, next up we have Rakoi, Silver Crescent Cosplay, and Akuchan as Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, and Sailor Venus! Sailor Moon and her Sailor Senshi fight against evil with the power of love and friendship. Joining us next is Winter's Cosplay as May from Guilty Gear. May is an honest, spunky member of the Jellyfish Air Pirates and is completely devoted to Johnny, her leader. She cherishes her adopted family and is a capable leader when Johnny is absent. But she does have an irrational fear of bald people. Alright, joining us now we have Spectre Dragoon as a wandering Roman from Samurai Shampoo. Not every character that you see cosplay is going to be a main character. Samurai Shampoo takes place in a sort of hip-hop version of Edo period Japan and follows a swordsman, a ronin, and a young girl who searched for the samurai who smells of sunflowers. Sapphire 
cosplay as, as a red mage from Final Fantasy III. Red mages are a versatile magic class. They use both white and black magic and can wield swords. In Final Fantasy III, four friends are granted powers by the magical crystal and fight to save the world. And look cool while they're doing it. Alright, next up we have Valnika as 2B from Nier Automata! 2B is a battle android equipped for close combat, but can still be handy out of range. She rarely takes off the visor that covers her eyes. Although she appears emotionless, there may be something more than meets the eye. Also, if you haven't played this game, do it. Do yourself a favor. Dodo Meki from On Ryoji. Dodo Meki looks like a sweet maiden on the outside, but a frightful demon inside. She's a Shikigami, a small Kamisama that fights on behalf of the On Ryoji, a legendary master of mystery that stands against the demon in shadows. <laughs> Next up is the Moon Family. We have Destiny as Eternal Sailor Moon, Full Metal Inc. as the Wicked Lady, and Moon Mama as Queen Girl. These are some of the leading ladies that Sailor Moon faces off against in her fight against battle, or against evil. Joining us next is Couture by Kitten Pickles as Geisha Spike from My Little Pony. This is a custom design that was inspired by a Japanese geisha culture and aesthetic. Spike is a purple and green dragon who serves as an assistant to Princess Twilight Sparkle. Alright, let's 
we have a garment of wigs as Minamoto no Hikaru from Otaki Zoshi. This series is about a girl in the Heian era Japan on a quest to save the country and her modern day reincarnation. All right, give one more round of applause for all of our amazing cosplayers. Everybody did such an awesome job. I'm so glad that we got to show everybody to you guys. And I'm so glad that you guys seem to have enjoyed it. And thank you all for coming out and supporting the Cosplay Fashion Show and, of course, and the USA. So we're going to give the judges a couple of minutes to deliberate, figure out who our prize winners are. Um, so we're going to bring back our cosplayers on stage so that you guys can give them all of the love and attention they deserve. And we're going to play a little trivia game with them. If they'll come back on stage. Maybe they need you guys to cheer for them. I think they got that attention. Or maybe it was a song. I do love AHA. By the way, the soundtrack for today, this was me at 3 in the morning just kind of having fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying. Okay, here they come. Everybody give them a great big round of applause. That's a really big drum set. We will make it work. <laughs> Eternal Sailor Moon will take, a, take one for the team. So while our chat is delivering, we're going to play a little fun game with our contestants. Uh, contestants, can you hear me? All right, I've got a couple questions to ask. If you know the answer, give a raise your hand, like me down, something cool. Uh, let's see. First one. This is one of my favorite animes. Uh, in Rising of the Shield Hero. I hope you all seen it. Raftalia is what kind of demi-human? Is she A, a raccoon, B, a wolf, or C, a fox? She is a raccoon? Let's take it back a few years. What quote was shown at the end of almost every episode of Cowboy Bebop? Was it A, see you space cowboy, B, ride him space cowboy, or C, blast off space cowboy? The answer is, see you space cowboy. That is correct. Let's try a little tougher one. What manga is the earliest accepted example of a magical girl genre? Is it A, Sailor Moon, B, Sally the Witch, or C, The Secrets of Akko-chan? Alright, Sally the Witch? No, I'm sorry. It is actually The Secrets of Akko-chan. Uh, it was uh, originally started in 1962. That's okay. Let's see. Oh, here's another fun one. What was the first Hayao Miyazaki film? Was it Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, My Neighbor Totoro, or The Castle of Cagliostro? Castle of Cagliostro. Very, very good. That was actually a loop on the third movie released in 1979. Let's see. Uh, here we go. This should be an easy one. What is considered the first English dubbed anime to ever air on American TV? Is it A, Speed Racer, B, Gigantor, or C, Robotech? No, actually, and Speed Racer is what we usually think of, but it was Gigantor. It first aired in 1964 on WPIX New York. On that note, our fantastic judges have finished their deliberations and are coming back on stage. Do you have anything to say? Finish! All right.
right, so we're going to pass it over to our judges here, where they're going to start with our third prize, second prize, and then our first prize winner. And thank you again, everyone, for coming out. This is uh, not as easy as it looks. Getting on stage in front of a whole bunch of people you don't know is uh, quite terrifying, actually. So big round of applause for everybody who came up on stage today. We couldn't do this without them. All right, so we had a lot of great costumes today. Like, it was really, really hard to choose. Um, and then we're walking on stage, like, a lot of people did a great job of owning their characters. So uh, we wanted to give a shout out specifically to uh, Spike from My Little Pony. She was fabulous. Um, and I think uh, Becky, for her chica, was absolutely adorable. Very, very cute. And uh, we're going to. And uh, Yuna. Uh, for all of her on the dying, it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we're going to start with the third prize. Uh, third place goes to uh, Christine for her Otobi Zoshi costume, her archer. Is that it? Third prize is a twenty-five-dollar Art of Weeks certificate. And our second place goes to, and I know you're going to love this one, uh, Rakoi, Courtney, and Sharon for their Sailor Moon. <laughs> Job and very honestly, like I love that they made these characters their own. They look amazing. All right, and uh, our first prize, drum roll, goes to Nanika Cosplay for her 2B for here. Now, before we close shop, I just wanted to say that I noticed a lot of cosplayers in the audience. I see you guys. I'm going to see you up here next year, right? Over there. Over there. Yep, we've got them back there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to see all you guys on stage next year. You can sign up um, online. The Anime USA Facebook page shares the link in like March and April. Uh, sign up online and then you'll get an email from us and I really hope to see you up on stage next year. Thank you so much for being such a great audience and thank you our wonderful cosplayers! See you guys at USA!